What's going on there, guys? We back with another one and more news on John Morant. Now, TMZ has put out a report about the Memphis Grizzlies star, and this does not help as this hits the national media. Now, guys, um, it says back on September the 22nd, around 7, 10 p.m., Ja's younger sister, Tania Morant, was attending a volleyball game at Houston High School, right? And she got into a verbal altercation with another student. I don't know if the student was with the opposing side at the volleyball game or she or she or he was actually a student at, you know, the same high school that she attended. But it escalated pretty quickly. And they said that the student called his sister a B. And what does she do? And what does it seem like this family always does? Because we heard about the mom calling Ja with the incident at the mall. And it says the sister called her big brother, which, you know, that isn't out of the norm for a kid, you know, to call her big brother instead of even calling her parents about it. So it says a short time later, Ja, Ja's mom and the dad, and for some strange reason, Ja's baby daughter and I'm assuming the same group of men that pulled up to the mall says adult males all came in together, right? And the group went to confront the student. But they said that T did not go confront the student. You know, he said, but pretty much the rest of the group did. Um, Ja's mom, Jamie, went up to the, like, up to the bleachers or wherever and was like, which one of y'all call my daughter a B? And the cops was like, you know, the security at the at the gym was like, nobody's going into the stands to confront this kid. And they said while they was talking to her, um, one of the men that was with Ja went up the stairs and slipped past security, slapped the phone out of one of the kid's hands, said, I don't care about none of that. I will beat anybody A in here, you know, going in, right? I'm just paraphrasing. And then a witness we don't, I don't know if this is true or not, but it definitely does not help with what's going on right now. One of the witnesses said uh, they witnessed a gun about to be pulled right there in the gymnasium. So I actually have questions um, with their arrival. You know, there was no, um, I mean, I guess if you see Ja around there, they're figuring nothing like this is going to happen. But at the same time, um, they didn't have to walk through metal detectors or anything when they came into a game. I mean, that used to be a uh, regular procedure, you know. It goes on to say that, um, you know, the mother of the student uh, wanted to press charges on John ja Morant and, um, for, for intimidation, you know, and harassment. And... Ja's mother wanted to press charges on the student, but nothing came of that, you know, so nobody was ever actually charged. But I find this alarming that here's yet another separate incident. So not just the three. This is the fourth incident. You got the thing at, at his home. You got the uh, with the 17 year old. You got uh, the mall. You got the Pacers. And now this. So doesn't have it doesn't help when this surfaces when there is a investigation going on it it does it may not hurt them per se right now but it it definitely um leaves a stench around it and it's like man you know what don't we know now you got the nba going in that mode like what don't we know this dude did like they, they'll be digging even more and his coach even spoke about the fact that they talked to Ja um, extensively, you know, prior to the incident in Colorado. And this is what he had to say. I mean, we've had conversations in the past trying to guide him and, and help him continue to evolve as, as a person and player. And obviously this came to a head, um, you know, the other day. So it, it put this process in, into action. You know, the hope was that this would never have happened and, you know, everything was, you know, um, you know, as good as it should be. But uh, there have been dialogues about what he's got to do better. And, and this just came to a head then. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't share details. Um, there's definitely steps that are going to have to be met, you know, personally and professionally um, as he deals with some stuff personally to get better. And then obviously 
the expectations on the team. He's going to have some things that he's going to have to clear to, you know, know what the expectations are when he does return. So, again, he's out at least the next four games. You know, I know everyone wants to know what's this going to be. It's the hot topic for sure. But he's taken time, his responsibility to get better. Um, you know, personally, that's a, a big factor in this. And also as his responsibility to the team, it's something that we're addressing with him that, you know, he's fully on board and been communicative with our group. I'm going to have to say now, you know, at first I was like, you know, he should tell his boys to chill out and all that. But um, it's probably time to cut them off for a while. Some of these guys have to be cut off. Uh, you know, if that that just having them at his disposal makes it feels like, you know, he can roll up on anyone and just show up at, at the drop of a dime. And that's very dangerous. Um when you don't know who you're dealing with out here, he could have rolled in. They could have walked into an ambush not knowing who this kid was or who was around this kid or where all his people were in the crowd. They they didn't have no clue. They blindly went in. And his, his family needs to stop calling him to be on demon time, too. I'm tired of that. Uh, you know, seeing his mom do it. Again, his sister is calling her big brother. That's probably something she's always done. So I don't put that against her so much, you know, that she called him. She's just looking up to her big brother. Grade school kids, you know, they've they've always done that. You know, you, you go get your big brother, or get your big sister or whatever when you need them. But at this point, Ja is, can't be that type of big brother. You know, he, he's a... He's the face of, of Memphis, you know, and he's he's the face of one of the faces, young faces of the NBA. So there's no way that he can be out there just on go 24-7. I think T, you know, him being there, he should have, since he didn't go to confront the group, T had to know. Maybe he was holding the baby. I'm guessing that's why he didn't go to confront. Maybe he was holding the baby. But even so, okay. Okay. That that's what I want to talk about. So going being on go and your baby with you, I don't like that kind of energy. Cause if it gets out of control, a baby is just a baby in there, you know? Um, so that it, as often as possible kids shouldn't be around that you know it, at the very least if you was even going to be on that type of time one of the parents or, or somebody should have stayed back the baby don't even need to be in there because it can go left at any time when you come with hostile energy so that I don't understand that having the baby to go be a part of that you know um so it, that's a mess. I, I'm shocked, you know, that uh, anything didn't leak from it as far as footage. You know, it, it, that I think that's kind of insane that nobody picked up the phone and started recording through all the yelling and stuff that was going on there. Now, um, I, I guess, you know, the one person that had the phone, though, you know, the guy knocked the, knocked the phone out of his hand and probably broke it or something. So that's possible, too. At this point, man, I hope not, but I'm just expecting more things to come out that maybe he's been involved of. But family of John ja Morant, don't call him to handle your beefs. Don't call him to try to settle uh, little petty grievances with different people, man. It's not going to end well. He's elevated past that. And, of course, Tanaya is going to be a, a target. You know, they're doing that. They got what they wanted. They pulled Ja out because they got in an argument. This is exactly what they wanted. The clout from that is what, what you know, they were hoping to get from that, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I, I can't definitively say that, you know, who maybe she was going at them the wrong way. But what I'm saying is when you entertain that, it turns into this. If you didn't entertain that, it never would have turned into this. That's all I'm saying, man. But what do I know? Just want you to have a long career. Want you to um, get back as soon as you can and go in the right direction. You know, you didn't work this hard to throw this away. That's all I'm saying. You did not work this hard for this. But, hey, man, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.